you say good morning? Hi. <laughs> good morning. So it is, I'm going to try to say this and not cry, my last week home before I go back to work. It's my last week on maternity leave. I'm not doing well, but it's only Monday. It's 9 o'clock Monday morning. I am red. Am I so red? Probably just, I just, I need to, I need to wake up and hydrate and all that good stuff, so. It is, uh, yeah, so it's Monday morning of my last week on maternity leave. Yeah, I go back to work next week and I am not excited. So I'm going to try to film as much as I can this week. Um, you'll probably never see any of it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. Um, no, no. It's alright. No one misses me. No one watches me yet. It's okay. <laughs> But I'm trying. When you have two kids, like, okay, real talk for a second. I knew that having two kids, especially two under two, two under a year and a half, um, was going to be insane and crazy and hard. I feel like nothing prepares you for, for it, though. Like, nothing prepares you for a baby. Nothing prepares you for a second baby, either. Okay? Like... You okay? He's fine. Um, but it's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, honestly. I knew it was gonna be hard. Like I didn't think it was gonna be a breeze just because I've done it before, but like it is hard. It's hard to get anything done. My house is a mess all the time, even more than it was before. I'm a mess all the time. <laughs> and it's it's hard it's really hard so I haven't had time to film or edit or anything and okay. I'll talk to you guys later I guess <laughs> good morning everyone uh, I didn't film anymore yesterday are we surprised no, not all. Not even a little bit. Are we surprised I look like a mess? No, not at all. Not even a little bit. Moving on. <laughs> so it's Tuesday of the last week that I'm home full time with my boys. Again, not going to think about it too much. Um, I'm exhausted because it's the morning and I still have a newborn and I still wake up several times throughout the night so we're gonna make some coffee and I don't think I've mentioned it before this seems like really random but give me a second um I haven't mentioned it before but my son uh is obsessed obsessed with cats so he actually asks me to make my coffee in the morning because I have a cat mug He is so freaking cute. Give me a second, I'll show you. Bye. Hey, honey. What's this? What's that? Uh -uh. Cat? What's on mommy's cup? Yeah. Cat? Yeah. Yeah? fantastic angle isn't it I love it yeah. I'm so good at this video thing like you don't even know a little bit better a little better maybe I don't know I need creamer Baba. Baba. these are our two creamers right now um, I'm using oat creamer Yay. because I'm uh, suspecting that Benjamin's tummy is just like very, very slightly sensitive to dairy. Um, not like Alexander was. I don't think I need to cut dairy out completely, at least not of right now. Um, but he does tend to do better if I just kind of cut out like 
really heavy dairy things like my cream or my ice cream like milk and cereal you know stuff like that so I found this at Target it's silk oat creamer which I didn't know they had and it's the maple brown sugar one y'all it's so good it is so so good I think it's like a fall release thing and then I tried this one last year. I think this is like a Christmas release. It's the oatmeal cookie one. And it's also pretty good. So I have enough. I think I have enough to do just the maple. I do. Okay, it's running really low, but I do have enough. So I'm not gonna use any of the oat of the um oatmeal cookie one today. And yeah, that is Benjamin. He's totally fine. He's just kind of like wine chatting to himself, you know. <clears throat> My voice is a little <clears throat> needs to wake up. And I need something to stir my coffee with. house forever sounds and looks and feels like a zoo because I have two children. Delicious though. Hot but delicious. Um, I feel like I was going to chat with you guys about something. Mm, I remember what it is. So some exciting news is probably happening soon my gosh my hair looks like a mess give me a second let me try to fix that just like a little bit okay I think that's a little bit better anyways um so some exciting news uh that we're probably gonna be doing soon is we are moving probably like 98 percent sure that we're moving <laughs> don't touch we don't touch mommy's coffee because it's hot so we are going to be moving soon um we are very blessed and fortunate and lucky and all of the things um for us to have my mother in our lives not just you know, you know what I mean what you want some cereal yeah okay I'll get you some cereal okay Uh, for us to have my mother in our lives because she is buying a house um, she is buying a house regardless of what we are doing she's been wanting to buy a house for a while but if and if you as you know the housing market has been absolute poop it's finally kind of starting to settle down a little bit where we are Um, man, he's excited. <laughs> uh, it's kind of like starting to settle down where we are. Uh, so she has been looking and actually found a house that suits all of our needs. Um, but she, you know, absolutely loves it. And she is being extremely, extremely generous see me sorry extremely generous to let us move in with her um, she spends a lot of her time with her great aunt so my great great aunt I think um, she's 94 years old 94 and a half years old and so you know she isn't getting around like she used to so my mom spends a lot of time over there because she's kind of like her main care caretaker um, so she kind of needs someone to stay at the house so that way she can go back and forth as she pleases and not have to worry about you know leaving the house for too long or um you know the animals she has my dog and my two cats from before me and jimmy got together 
So I will be living with them again, which I'm so excited for. I cannot wait. I'm sure he's going to like having animals in the house. Jimmy is not excited for that. Not even a little bit. But he'll be fine. <laughs> it's a give and take, you know. Uh, so it's very exciting. Uh, the closing date as of right now, it's like set for the 20th of December. But we can close as early as the 6th as long as like certain things get done. Um, there were a couple like maintenance and repairs and replacement things that needed to be done on the house before we close. So basically we're just waiting on that. As soon as that stuff gets done, we can close as early as December 6th. So that's super soon and super close and I need to declutter my entire house, clean, pack away. Like there's so much to be done. I am overwhelmed just thinking about it. Plus going back to work on top of that, plus having a newborn no, no, and no. a toddler. Even though I refuse to call him a toddler, he's still a baby. <laughs> so it's wild guys, it's so wild. Um, I don't even know if you can hear me over my children right now, but it's okay. Also, my battery is flashing. That's something that I am probably, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that I'm getting for Christmas this year is a, another battery for my camera because I only have one battery currently, just the battery that the camera came with. And it's like, I can't really film a whole lot before the battery starts dying. So the battery's gonna die at any second. So I gotta stop filming and plug that in. Yay. Yay. Maybe you'll see me today, maybe you'll see me never. I don't know, I never know what's going on. It's fine. Um, you know, it's fine, we're all fine, everything's fine, all that, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, so I'll check in with you guys later and exciting things to come, maybe, hopefully. Hi. It is a couple hours later. It's now 12. 12.02. <laughs> it's been a morning. Oh my gosh, it's been a morning. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm so tired. Uh, I want another cup of coffee so bad, but I definitely need to eat something first. I, I ate breakfast which is good sometimes i don't get to breakfast but i did me and alexander shared some oatmeal which was really nice but um i need to eat lunch before i have another cup of coffee but that second cup of coffee is calling my name for sure like oh my god <sighs> just got alexander down for a nap he's not asleep yet i like literally just laid him down I really hope that he takes a nap today. Uh, he has not taken a nap in two days. He will go down, like he'll go in there and chill in there for an hour, hour and a half and just play and have quiet time, which is wonderful and amazing. And I'm so thankful and grateful for that, but he doesn't sleep. It's like, he's only just over a year and a half. If you wanna be really technical, he's almost 20 months old, so. As if you want to get that technical but he's over a year and just over a year and a half old he still needs a nap during the day and when he doesn't take a nap the rest of the day is just so chaotic and tiring and exhausting and usually has a, someone has a meltdown <laughs> or multiple of us have meltdowns <sighs> so I need to make some lunch I think I'm gonna make a quesadilla. Haven't fully decided yet. Um, I still have Benjamin up. Well, he took a nap this morning and now he's back up. And he'll probably, hopefully, hang out with me while I have my lunch if he'll let me eat. And then I'll lay him down for a nap. And then I'm hoping both boys will be laid down for a nap at the same time. At least, even if it's only for a little bit. I hope. But here's Benji. Focus, focus on the baby. It's not wanting to focus. Oh, oh, we just had to get a little closer. There he is. Still a little blurry. Man, I am good at this camera stuff, huh? There he is. 
<laughs> Sweet boy. I'm so good at this camera stuff. So good at it. Oh, I'm still zoomed in. <laughs> so good at it. And by so good, I mean absolutely terrible. Moving on, we need lunch. We had quesadillas the other day for dinner. Um, but we had different type of quesadillas. We had, um, I'm gonna have to show you this recipe someday. It is so good. Literally my husband says that it's uh, his, his favorite thing that I cook. They're so freaking delicious. They're just time consuming, unfortunately. But they are mushroom and onion quesadillas. And it's super, super, super simple. All you have to do is cut up an onion, get some pre-sliced on or mushrooms, saute them until they're like really like caramelized and cooked and really good. Season however you want. I usually just season it with like salt, pepper, and um, garlic, and that's about it. And then you just take that and put it in a tortilla with cheddar cheese and mozzarella cheese. I use, use both, both. It makes a difference. Use both cheeses. It's worth it. Trust me. Um, and yeah, just use uh, both of those and then put it and just make it like on like a pan quesadilla. And if you want to get really fancy, what you can do is take some... If you want to get really fancy, you're crooked, whatever, is uh, take some sour cream and just put like the pre-done like taco seasoning, uh, put, mix those two together and then put some lime juice in it. So good. So, so, so good. Oh my gosh. A plus. So delicious. We're not making that. Uh, I literally only have like the tortillas and cheese. And that's it. I might have some sour cream, but that's about it. So I might make a cheese quesadilla for lunch because I'm hungry and need to eat something. I just have a random piece of bread here. What? Life with two kids is crazy. Like. I think I started saying something about it yesterday and then it just, I never like got through what I'm saying. Um, it's a lot harder than like I thought it would be. It's extremely rewarding. Like I wouldn't trade my children for anything. Of course, I love them with all of my being. I love them so much, but Damn, it's hard. It's so hard. I'm so exhausted. And it's like, I gotta get a plate. <laughs> it's like, I remember, I feel like I slept less with Alexander when he was an, an infant, but I'm like, twice as tired. I'm like so much more tired um, now than I was with just Alexander. Like, and I slept less. Like I'm getting more sleep with Benjamin. He's a really good sleeper for being so little. I am extremely blessed. I don't know what I would do if he was like a bad sleeper like every single night. We have our nights. Don't get me wrong. We definitely have our nights. But like, if he was like a bad sleeper like every single night, I don't think I'd be able to survive. I really don't. So he's really good. He's a really fantastic sleeper, which I'm so thankful for, like for real, so thankful for. Um, so there's that, but I still feel like I'm like 10 times more exhausted. It's probably because I also have a toddler. It's probably why. We don't have as much cheese left as I thought, but I think I can make it work. I need a pan. Let's check to see if Alexander fell asleep. He was really tired. Like really, really, really tired. <laughs> He's not asleep at all. Look at him though, can you see him? Can you see the way he's laying? 
know if you're gonna be able to see that. He's like, his head is here and his feet are like curved like all the way up here. He's such a funny sleeper. But he's rubbing his eyes, so. We'll see if he falls asleep. Benjamin's just chilling. He's chilling like a good little boy. I love him. I love all my kids. All two of them. <sighs> I'll check back in with you after I'm done making my quesadilla. And there we have my quesadilla. I actually made two, so. It is a whole wheat tortilla. I um, actually did have some of that sauce left. So it's just sour cream, a packet of taco seasoning, and lime juice. Like lime to your preference. I usually use a whole packet of taco seasoning to like roughly... I have like a 16 ounce container. I don't know. No more than 16 ounces of sour cream. It just depends on how much you want to make. But I usually use the whole packet um, to just however much sour cream I have. But it depends on... How strong you want it and stuff like that I use like almost a full lime of lime juice um, but my husband usually uses like half to three quarters so just depends it's just to your preference so but this is basically mostly mozzarella cheese there's a tiny bit left of the uh, sharp cheddar but it's mostly mozzarella because that's like pretty much all I had so yeah but that's lunch today and uh, yeah I'm going to sit down and eat and hopefully baby boy will let me and hopefully Alexander will take a nap and then baby will take a nap and then I can get some work done. So catch you guys later.